Okay, what gear do you have it in? Okay, put it in reverse. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, let's to uh, remove the uh, engine transmission from this. You gotta take the battery out. So we just connect the cables here, take the battery box out, and take out these bolts. Also noticed that rattle earlier, so I'm gonna see about tightening down what's here, what's loose. Because that one doesn't seem to be nearly as loose as this side. So we'll figure that out. Get in here because that mounts on the other side of that. So, this is the new mount we got. So it sits down there. Somewhere in there. Okay. Good. We'll do more once we get in there. that takes care of that rattle we got on this side but considering 265 or so thousand miles on it I don't think we're doing too bad actually I think we should be able to see it what do we say here hundred and sixty four nine seventy five very close to hundred and sixty five thousand that replaced before the autocross this weekend. Alright, so we've got the airbox just kind of moved up out of the way here. The battery, battery trays out. And that kind of shows us what we've got here. This through bolt. Okay, behind that cap we, that's where that's at. Okay, and then we've got these bolts that are holding it down. So if we look at the new one, you can see how it goes in here. So we see got yeah, this bolt back here, here, got this bolt. So we got dinner? dinner coming up. So we will get to this. have to hook up the uh, battery or the motor support get that set so the motor doesn't move when I disconnect that. I don't want to fall. Well got it replaced. Got the new one in. So you can see had the bolt back here. Okay down here and then under there those three bolts they're all 15 millimeter at least that's what I was able to get and then uh, had to remove this bracket to get to that uh, four bolt four, bo four bolts hold that on it hooks into this got the bolt on the other side to hold them out so on those uh, half inch what I was able to do so probably some metric standard conversions there but uh, go and torque this down get it put in get it ready to uh, put it back together there's the old one wasn't too bad but it does move quite a bit should be able to I don't think move it that easy so 
go ahead and uh, continue on the process, see if I can get this buttoned up tonight. Good morning. Well, it's the, the next day. up, take down, get the mounting bolt in. Uh, took a little bit of time. This one down here is all by box wrench. I uh, could get a ratchet on there until it got down quite a bit. Then I got a ratcheting wrench on there. Um, that guy right there. So, bolts in. Getting ready to uh, finish buttoning her up. But I think she's ready to go. Otherwise, this grounding strap back on there. There we go. Grounding strap back in. Uh, everything looks good, tight. Connect it back in. Have to disconnect the shift linkage. Put it through here. Put these bolts. Uh, it out. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Tell you what. Harbor Freight engine support bar. Jack, uh, she was creaking and croning, so we had to rebuild the seals and stuff on it. Uh, but then, oh, I got that pretty much when I came into the Air Force, so within 30 years. Things uh, 25 plus, that's for sure. So, same with those jack stands. But, uh, all right, go ahead and uh, take a look at this. Mount over here for the uh, radiator, see if I can figure out why that was rattling a little bit. And then uh, we'll close this thing back up. Thanks. Battery tray. Four bolts here, or two bolts here. Two nuts in the back. And the bolt down here. Uh, that's half inch, these are 10 millimeter. And this comes out, goes back in pretty easy. We already showed that, or I'll show that. Uh, they have two uh, Let's see, that is a transmission cooler line. Went down there, but not too bad. Nothing major. Just, but, uh, so, airbox is back in. Getting ready to put the battery tray back in, our battery back in. So you gotta remember, plug, careful, plug the air temperature sensor in, connect it back down into the uh, intake, you know, snorkel box, uh, wire here, comes back to the uh, auto air control valve, make sure that wire is plugged in. Got a vacuum line down here, and a vacuum line down here, it's part of the uh, PCV positive crankcase ventilation system on the Neon, which uh, we may may do some stuff with down the road with this. I haven't done a catch can or anything on this. I haven't had a, the issues like the Subarus tend to have, but uh, never know. Might be having the issue, and that's just why I need to take off. Uh, last little plate go on. Covers over here. Um, protects the uh, throttle linkage a little bit. That all looks like it's fine. Got a little slack in there. Uh, I'm not sure how, if I can take up any slack on the throttle linkage, but uh, go ahead and put the, this plate back in. Just snaps it down here. There we go, maybe if I was putting it on right. In place. All right, good deal. All right, uh, this is a little bit tighter. I'm not sure if the bushings are just worn out. It's a little bit loose down below as well. So I may have to uh, eventually get some new bushings, but kind of bent that bracket down to help uh, place a little bit tighter. Uh, connection. And uh, let's get the battery in, sort her up. All right, check it out. That's drive. 
nice and smooth. That's an idle, usually it would be shaking pretty good. Put in reverse. There you go. Nice and smooth. Get a little gas. There you go. Transmission mounts replaced. I done the, in, uh, the engine mounts over here when I did the uh, timing belt a few years ago. But uh, yeah, I think she's ready to go. Check the fluids. Make sure everything's uh, squared away there. But uh, putting the battery in. Back here, gonna remember the battery temperature sensor goes on. Got that in, please. And then bolt down there, give a half inch, locks the battery down. Transmission, oil, power steering, check those. And then, uh, yeah. thanks for watching.